Hi, my name is Chef Rob Eaton. I'm here at JAS Restaurant Equipment, and we're going to do something a little different for Thanksgiving this year. Turkey is the traditional Thanksgiving meal, but today we're going to do duck. I have my four pound duck here and I've removed the neck and the gizzards. I've rinsed out the cavity and I've trimmed up the wings to the elbow. Now what I'm going to do is dress this duck out. First, I'm going to season the inside of the carcass using kosher salt and black pepper. You can use anything you want, but that's what I like to use. Next, I'm going to tie the legs together. This helps keep the duck shaped properly and will help lock in juices as well. Nice and tied together. Then I'm going to trim that extra string off. Next, I'm going to tie the back of the wings together. Again, I just wrap it around each wing and then tie them together. Now this will also help the duck keep shape plus it'll help keep the duck off the pan a little bit so all of the back doesn't stick to it. I don't like to use a rack or anything when I'm cooking my duck. It's very nice to have a nice brown surface to your duck on the skin so I use a browning agent. You can use teriyaki, you can use soy, or you can use Worcestershire. I have Worcestershire here, that's what I'm going to use. I just simply dip my hands in and rub down the bird with the Worcestershire. Be generous with it, just really slap it on there. Now that we have our duck dressed and rubbed down with Worcestershire sauce, uh, it's time to put it in the roasting pan. You can use anything to prop up your turkey. I happen to be using these two cups here, but you can use oranges, you can use onions, you can use celery, any kind of vegetable or anything that will hold it straight. Just place it in here, put it on top of those two cups. That's very stable, that's not going to go anywhere. And we're ready to put it in the oven. My roasting technique is a little different from most chefs. I like to start with a real high heat, about 500 degrees, and I do that for about 45 minutes or until the duck is nicely brown. Uh, so let's put it in the oven. There we are, center it very nicely there. Okay, now that we have our duck in at 500 degrees, we're going to let it go for about 45 minutes. That'll give it a nice golden brown exterior. Um, then we're going to cut down our heat to about 275 to 300 degrees and let it go for a couple hours until we reach an internal temperature of about 160. Now we want that 160 to hold for about 45 minutes to an hour. So we have about three hours of cooking time on this stuff. Okay, we have our duck out of the oven. It's been roasted and it's been cooled off. Now I'm going to show you how to debone the duck. The first step in deboning is going to be to take the strings off our duck. First we cut the ones off the wings and then we cut the ones off the legs. And be careful, use a sharp knife, but you don't want to cut yourself. So you pull them off by hand. There we go. Now the next step is going to be cutting our duck in half. So I'm right handed so I'm going to turn the ducks where the ducks head used to be to my right hand side. I'm going to take a good sharp knife, big knife, and I'm going to cut it right down the middle. Should be easy enough to do. Then I'm going to press that knife using my palm and leverage and just cut the duck right down the middle. It should go pretty easily if your duck is cooked all the way through. Now as you can see here you have a nice side view of your duck. We're first going to go underneath the breast with our fingers and then pull all the bones aside. So the way you want to do that is push 
down on the breastplate separating all the meat from the bones and it's relatively easy you just keep moving your fingers back and forth now there's going to be a joint in here that you want to make sure you separate and a joint back here from the wing and from the leg you're going to want to get your fingertips in there and just push down and pull away now you're going to have little bits of duck left on the bone but that's strictly for tasting you have half a wishbone here you're going to want to get that joint out of there now that we have the main carcass out now we're going to want to take the bottom the thigh bone out that's easily done just by pushing all the meat off and then twisting so that now that bones out and there's some cartilage up by the wing that you're going to want to take out just so people are not choking on that sort of thing and then we just flip our duck over and we still have our leg bone in here and our wing bone here but now we're ready to reheat it and serve it we're going to pop our ducks back in the oven set at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes So now we have our duck plated. I plated it over wild rice and portobello mushrooms and I did some zucchini sauteed. Um, you can use any kind of sauce you want with duck. An orange sauce. You can do a, a cherry sauce. I happen to use some pico de gallo and a little veal stock and I have a real nice veal reduction with my pico de gallo right here. Mm. Now that's moist, delicious duck. Thank you so much for joining us today in the JES Test Kitchen. Have a happy holiday and we hope to see you soon.